Hi guys, today I wanted to talk to you about fingernails. Sometimes I use my own fingernails. What I usually do is I'll take the fingernail polish and instead of covering my entire nail, what I'll do is I will just make a thinner nail down the center. And not only does it make my nail look longer, but it also makes it look a little bit smaller and more petite. So that's just a little trick for how to make your fingernails look longer. I really like this one type of nail polish. I just get it at Walmart. It's, the, it's a quick drying Insta-Dry nail polish. And today we're using it in gold. But uh, I really like this one. It dries very, very, very quickly. So you don't have to sit there and fan yourself all the time waiting for your nails to dry. All right, another trick that I wanted to show you was the claw nails are so in style right now. And I wanted to make some of those myself. So what I did was I went to the um, dollar store. You can also get these at your wig shop. And I got the nails that we're all familiar with. They're kind of that square tip nail. They're pretty cheap too. You can get a big pack of them. But you can see they just have the square tip on the end. And then what I do is I take those nails and I just take a pair of scissors and I cut that into a point. So we're just going to cut that into a point. There you go. And then what we'll do is we'll take our nail file and kind of file it off a little bit because you don't want any sharp edges to get caught on your pantyhose. Now the first thing you want to do is figure out what size nails you want. And they come in a lot of different sizes and it's pretty easy to figure out. You just place the nail onto, onto your nail and you want to get one that's going to cover your nail all the way, but don't cover it too far. You don't want it to be too wide because you don't want your nail to look bigger. Usually I'll go a little bit smaller if I need to because I like my nails to look thinner. So once you've picked out all your nails and then you've cut them into your claw shape, then what I do is I stick them down onto a piece of duct tape. And what the duct tape does is you can see it holds it in place so that when I'm painting it, they're not like moving all over the place. And I also have been really getting into decorating my nails lately. So one other thing that I wanted to show you was how you could attach stones to your nails and it makes them look really sparkly and shiny and it looks, they just look extra special. So all I do is take the E6000, and I've used that before on other tutorials, and I make a little line of the E6000 down the center of the nail, and then I just stick rhinestones onto the nail, and I let that dry for like a half hour to an hour, and then I just glue the nails on my finger just like I would any other nails. Now if you're going to use false nails, you want them to stay on during a show, so one way to do that is to start by using nail polish remover. And we're just going to take a cotton ball and just wipe over our fingernails because you want to make sure there's any oil or debris off of your fingernail that would stop the nail glue from sticking. Now the next thing that I found works really well for me is if I take the brush on nail glue and put it onto my fingernail first and then I put it onto the nail and then I stick the two together and I hold them really tightly for a few seconds. And that way I know for sure that I've got glue that's attached to both the nail and to the false fingernail because I put it on my nail bed and I also put it on the false fingernail. So it makes them stick a lot better. They're a little harder to get off at the end of the night, but they're going to stay on throughout the show. So I hope that this gave you some ideas for how to get some really neat fingernails. And I hope you liked it. If you do, please share it. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.